Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize your file on Canva. So let's say that you have already designed and create something, for example, a presentation. But then you're going to want to use the exact same content on your presentation into something else. Maybe you want to create an Instagram post or Instagram story. Or maybe you want to create a Facebook post which will have a different size or different measurement with your first design. You can always resize it and there's going to be two ways that I'm going to show you in this tutorial. The first one is going to need Canva Pro account and I feel like this is the easiest and the less time consuming one. But if you don't have Canva Pro account, don't worry, I'm also going to show you how to do it if you're on a free account. Now let's start by taking a look at one of the projects that I've already created. Let's say it's this one right here. So this is a presentation consists of around 12 pages. This presentation was made with a template from Canva under the name of presentation templates. So let's say that you like this design, but you're going to use all of the content here into another file size. So if you're using your Canva Pro account, all you have to do is go to this resize and magic switch button over here and then you can click on it. And over here, you're going to be able to choose on the size of which you want your file to be resized in. Let's say you want it to be an Instagram stories or desktop wallpaper or Instagram post. You can just choose whatever you want or you can also create a custom size in case all of the sizes that are put inside of this resize options right here is not suitable to whatever it is that you want to create maybe you want to create a flyers or banner you can always just insert custom sizes that are going to match to your other design so let's say that i want to put this design into instagram stories now instead of changing the file right from here what i like to do is i'm going to actually save it as another file just so that if i ever need this file again and let's say that i haven't downloaded it yet but i want to use this file again i will still have the original file and i'm going to show you why first i'm just going to click on file and then i'm going to click make a copy all right now that i got the copy i'm going to directly resize it so this one have the size of 920 pixels by 1080 pixels, which I think is quite similar to the desktop wallpaper. Yeah, so it's the same as desktop wallpaper size. So let's say that I'm going to change this into an Instagram story. I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then click on continue. And before we resize it, we'll be able to see on how the design will look like once it's resized. So you can take a look at the pages first while we're still on the preview stage and you can always resize or adjust everything that doesn't come to your liking later after it's resized. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and click on resize this design. All right, as you can see now my presentation has been resized. Now it comes in the templates of Instagram stories. And let's say that this one doesn't really look like how I wanted it to be. I can always move it around and reposition it to however I want each element to be. All right. The reason why I always copy my design before I resize it is because let's say that I want this design to come in the size of the desktop wallpaper again now let's say that i'm going to click on it click on continue and you actually have the options to copy the file when you're trying to resize it so it's, it's obviously up to you on which method would you like to do when you're trying to copy and resize your file so let's say that i want to resize it back into its original design and let's see how it looks like you can see that despite of this to be resized as its original design the ending doesn't look the same like how it first came let's try to compare it with the original one you can see that this page and this page and this page actually becomes a lot smaller than how it's supposed to be 
obviously you can always edit it and adjust it again so that it's going to look exactly like how you want it to be but again it's going to take a lot of time that's why always copy your file before you resize it and if you create some changes on your design after you resize it when you're trying to revert it back into its original design and original size it's going to give you more work because again there's going to be a lot of adjustment as well as resizing and editing as you go so that is how you can resize your design if you're using canva pro account now let's try and take a look at how we can do it if we're going to use canva free account now i'm going to try to create a new file and then i'm just going to let's say use instagram post which is a square as my design size i'm going to go ahead and click on it and then canva is going to create obviously a new working space for me so i'm going to go back to the original design and the way that you can do it for free is you can just click on all of the element that you have on that pictures up to the background and what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on group and as you can see the background is not being included it's totally fine we can just move it separately and then what you're going to do is you're going to want to click ctrl c on your keyboard go to the next design that you want to put and then click on ctrl v to paste on those element and now as you can see you got the element from your original design moved here automatically and to copy the background you can just do the same thing you can just ctrl c or you can right click on your background and then you can go ahead and click on copy and paste it on your desired design and now you got it and to adjust everything all you have to do is just click on the elements click on ungroup and now you will be able to move them around one by one like for example if you will want to put this let's say on top of here then you want to enlarge this one you can just enlarge it through the text sizing or you can also just adjust it through these boxes right here the text is going to follow automatically and then you just have to repeat those steps with all of the other pages all right, so I'm going to do it one more time. And as you can see, this page actually have quite a lot of element. So instead of clicking them one by one by holding shift on my keyboard, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click Control A on my keyboard. And it's going to highlight every single element that appears on this page. Control C on it. And then I'm going to click on Control V on my other design and that's basically it that is how you can resize your canva design from a certain template into a new sizing for whatever it is that you need i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day